Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Windows 8.1 as its support ends, well, a day after this video is being uploaded on January 10th, 2023. Windows 8.1 came out in 2013 as Microsoft's attempt to kind of fix what they messed up in Windows 8. For example, you know, the start button not being there, uh, Metro apps not being able to be closed that easily, and just overall some very annoying things that Microsoft really messed up with. However, 8.1 was an attempt to resurrect that. However, even after 8.1, Microsoft just never really saw success in Windows 8 and 8.1, which prompted them to release Windows 10 just two years later. Windows 8 and 8.1 is kind of the mistake that Microsoft wants you to forget about. However, we definitely didn't forget. In fact, I share an opposite opinion of Windows 8. And so we're just going to be taking a look at the basic overview of this and, you know, how to proceed if you're still running Windows 8.1 somehow. So as I was saying, my first personal laptop actually ran Windows 8.1. I got it back in 2013, and I really loved Windows 8.1. I liked the start screen. Um, I would have been better on a touchscreen. I didn't have a touchscreen, but I liked it, and it didn't really bother me that much. Maybe it was just because it was my first laptop, but it really didn't bother me that much. So... Let's talk about some of the things that people hated. Now, I have done a why do people hate Windows 8.1 in the past. However, that was about two, two, three years ago. So let's take a look. So the first thing was the start screen. Obviously, you know, this isn't really designed for a mouse and keyboard. Obviously, these are meant more towards, you know, touch. Like, you'd be able to tap these tiles with your finger. Uh, but most people didn't have touch screens at the time. That was still kind of picking up because Windows 7 didn't really have touch support that well. Um, you know, also like the Metro apps, they, they took up way too much space. They're a full screen, not really a desktop. I mean, we all know this. We've all seen Windows 8. But the one thing that I love about Windows 8 is just the it, its appearance. I love like the basic kind of flat design that it has. I mean, yeah, it kind of looks dated now compared to Windows 11 maybe. But I just really like the way that it looked. I mean, that that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, hated the way it looked. But this was like that nice crossover between Windows 7 and Windows 10 that I really like this. The other thing about Windows 8 is that it runs very well on older, more unsupported hardware. So, I mean, this is obviously is a Core i7, but it has one core, um, and it's running on 2 gigs of RAM right now. In a previous video, I believe we've got this down to like 200 megabytes, I'm not entirely sure. Windows 8 and 8.1 is really good at running on lower powered hardware. Um, which is one thing, like, what I've always recommended my friends, like, you know, they have older, you know, laptops that were kind of garbage with 4 gigs of, four gigabytes of RAM and a seller on. I always said, install Windows 8.1. You'll be able to do stuff on it, and it'll still work, and it works better than Windows 10. And it, it I mean, that's truthful. I used to use Windows 8.1 on a Pentium 4 for quite a while. Um, that was back when, you know, I didn't really have a lot of computers to mess around with. I had my laptop and that desktop, and I liked it. Like, it worked. So... Definitely going to miss the ability to be able to tell people, hey, you have a lower end computer, put Windows 8.1 on it, you'll be able to go and you'll be able to live. And the reason that we can't do that anymore is because end of support, which what does that mean? Let's talk about that for a minute. The end of support of Windows 8.1 means that it will no longer get security updates. It doesn't mean that, you know, it's going to magically quit working and, you know, Microsoft's going to shut your computer down. You're never, you're no longer going to get security updates and in turn, my um, other applications are not going to support your OS anymore. I want to say Chrome stopped supporting Windows 8.1 already. I'm not entirely sure. Microsoft Edge, the last version to support Ed, the last version to support Windows 8.1 will be version 109. When 110 comes out, Edge will officially no longer support Windows 8. Security updates. I mean, that's a huge thing. You know, I'd like my computer to be secure. I like getting the latest patches so my computer doesn't get, you know, exploited through vulnerabilities. And that's important, especially in a world where, you know, attacks are coming more and more. I mean, it's Windows 8.1 is going to turn into Windows XP and Windows 7 being so not secured that people are going to be able to hack into it at any time. Luckily, no one really, no businesses really used Windows 8.1. It was more all home users than anything. Why? I don't know why that just crashed. More home users used Windows 8 than anything because businesses never really picked up on it. I know that um, where I am, we never deployed Windows 8. We only went from 7 straight to 10 and now to 11. We totally skipped over the Windows 8 phase. So if you have a computer running Windows 8.1, what are your options? Well, the first thing I would do is I would just, you know, check what, what are your system specifications. Um, because if you can upgrade to Windows 10, do it. 
I know Windows 10 is still kind of old, but you know, you, you can upgrade to it. But if you're worried, hey, maybe two gigabytes of RAM, that's not gonna run Windows 10 that good, especially on an upgrade. We have other options, and I'll talk about that in a minute. However, if you have a laptop that runs Windows 8.1 and it came with Windows 8.1, chances are it will absolutely not support Windows 11 natively. However, I've done a video in the past of getting Windows 11 22H2 on unsupported hardware. However, that completely depends on your situation and if you feel like your computer is capable of handing the, handling those newer versions of Windows. Because Windows 11 doesn't really like lower powered computers, I'll tell you that right now. I wanted to upgrade to Windows 10, I mean it's just really simple. If, uh, you know, Internet Explorer would start working. Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to work. Okay, Alright, there we go. So we're going to go to the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. And we're going to go to just right here, download the tool and learn more. And from here, this is where we're literally just going to download the exe and run it and upgrade our computer to Windows 10. It doesn't take that long, or actually, depending on if you have an SSD or hard drive, it might take a little longer. But that's it. It's really that simple to upgrade to Windows 10. And it's free as long as your Windows 8 is activated. Another option you have is if you're not comfortable with upgrading Windows 10 because either you don't like it or you feel like your computer might blow up you can install Chrome OS Flex. Now keep in mind, Chrome OS Flex, you're not upgrading to it. So when you do it, you're going to have to erase your entire computer and it's going to start over. So make sure everything you have is backed up. Chrome OS Flex is basically Chrome OS, but you can run it on anything, really. And Chrome OS is very lightweight, and it honestly... Chrome OS Flex is a best option for some people. So it's basically literally an operating system that's dedicated to Google Chrome. That's all it is. So if all you do is really browse the internet, which I don't know many apps that still support Windows 8, so if you have it, you must be still on the internet, then I would use it. Because honestly, it is a very good option. It'll bring back life in your old crappy computer, and it will probably run a lot better than Windows 8 is. That being said, this is just the brief overview of Windows 8's end of support. You know, it's coming up tomorrow is the day the, this video releases, and I just want everyone to be prepared if you're still somehow running a Windows 8 machine. Make sure to get off that. Either go to 10, 11, or Chrome OS Flex. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The next time we'll be doing one of these videos will be 2025 when Windows 10 gets the boot. But with that being said, if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next video.